Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going through the equation of a straight line. I'm going to go through how to find the equation of a straight line when you're given one gradient and one point. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. And I'm also going to show you how to find the intersection point between two lines. So stay tuned. Let's look at the question. Straight lines AB and CD intersect at B. You can see from the graph. Given the gradient of the lines A, B, and C, D are negative 1 over 3 and 3 respectively. So we are given the gradients of the graph. Find the equations of lines A, B, and C, D. Now before we attempt the question, let's study the graph and see everything that is given to us. So we have two gradients, but we also have two points. This point and this point. Now here it is only labeled as intercepts. It is more useful to label them as points before we move on. So first, let's label the point here. This is 0, 6 and this is 0, 3. For the y-intercepts, the x-coordinate is 0. First, let's look at the equation of AB. So equation of AB, let's look at what we have. We have the gradient of AB is negative 1 over 3. And then we have one point on the line AB, which is 0, 6. First, let's write that down. So we have MAB, gradient of AB is negative 1 over 3. And then we have the point which is 0, 6 that lies on the line AB. When we have one point in the gradient of the line, then we can find the equation of the line. There are two ways to do this. The first method is to start with the gradient intercept form. Y is equals to MX plus C. And substitute everything that we have into this equation first. So we have the y coordinate, which is 6. So 6 is equals to m is the gradient, which we also have, negative 1 over 3. The x is 0 plus c. Now in this question, of course, they have the point that is given to us is the y-intercept. So we don't really need to do this to find the y-intercept. We can directly take it from the graph but let's just say we were given a different point then this is what we would do and from here we can find the value of c the value of c is equals to this is zero and therefore this is six now once we have the value of c then you substitute the value of c back into the equation for the equation of the straight line there cannot be any unknown constants which is the m and the c m and c are constants y and x are variables so what we get at the end of the day is y is equals to negative 1 over 3 x plus 6 this is the equation of the line for a b so we found the equation of the line a b now let's look at the equation of the line c d so let me teach you the second method here for the second method again always write down what we have first for c d we have the gradient is 3 and we have another point 0 3 so let's write that down m of c d is equals to 3 and we have a point 0 3 on the line the second method to do this is to use the gradient formula the gradient formula is m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 this is true for a straight line. So all we have to do is substitute the values into this equation. So how do we do that? M is equal to 3. So we write 3 is equals to. Now for y2 and x2, we use y and x. So y2 we write as y, x2 we write as x. And for y1 and x1, we substitute the coordinate that we have. So y is 3 based on this point and x is 0 based on this point. So here we can do y minus 3 over x equals to 3. So both sides we multiply by x and then we will get 3x equals to y minus 3. And then switch the sides, y minus 3 equals to 3x plus 3 on both sides. Eliminate the 3, then we get y is equals to 3x. Plus 
So this is how we find the equation using the gradient formula. Let's look at the next part of the question. Find the coordinates of B. So B is the intercept. If you look at the graph, B is the intercept between the two lines. When we are finding the intercept between the two lines, you have to remember that the intercept is a single point that is present on both lines, which means the Y coordinate and the X coordinate will be the same for both equations of the line. So all we have to do is simultaneous equation. Let's write down our two equations first. So we have y is equals to negative 1 over 3x plus 6 and we have y is equals to 3x plus 3. So here all we have to do is equate the two y coordinates because they are the same since it is an intercept. So it will be negative 1 over 3x plus 6 this is for the first one here is equals to second one 3x plus 3. Now all we have to do is solve. So the first thing we do whenever there's a fraction is to get rid of the denominator. This is the simplest way that I find to do it. So what we do is we multiply the whole equation by the denominator which is 3. So times 3 what we will get is negative x plus 18 is equals to 9x plus 9. All right, now all we have to do is solve. So let's switch sides first. 9x plus 9 equals to negative x plus 18. Now, I want to get rid of x on the right-hand side. So plus x, and you do the same on the left-hand side. So we get 10x plus 9 is equals to 18. And then I want to get rid of 9 on the left-hand side. So minus 9 minus 9 we get 10 x is equals to 9 now what i want to do is i want to get rid of the 10 here so i have to divide by 10 on the left side do the same for the right side so i will get x is equals to 9 over 10 which is 0 0.9 once i've solved for x i need to find the y coordinate in order to find the y coordinate all i have to do is substitute into either one of these so for me i would rather choose the second one because there's no fraction so all we have to do is y equals to 3x plus 3 y equals to 3x plus 3 so we substitute this value of x inside we get y is equals to 3 times 9 over 10 plus 3 so we will get 27 over 10 plus 3, which is, of course, 5.7. So we have found the x coordinates and the y coordinates of the point B. Now, don't forget to put them together because they ask for the point. So therefore, B is equals to 0 0.9 and 5.7 x coordinate comma y coordinate this is the final answer let's just look at the graph again so here what we did is you have one point and the gradient then you have two methods of finding the equation of the line first is you start with the gradient intercept form and then you fill in all the details that we have substitute all the values find the value of c and then you have your whole equation the second method is by using the gradient method in the gradient method, y2 and x2, we substitute with y and x. And y1 and x1, we substitute with the actual coordinates of the points that is given to us. And you can find your equation. For intercepts, whenever we have a point of intersection, then what you do is you just have to equate the y and the x coordinates because they will be the same since they are the same point. That's it for this video, guys. If you've learned something, please don't forget to help to support me by hitting that like button really does help and if you enjoy educational videos like this please subscribe i'll be producing at least one a week if you're interested in short lessons and memory boosters then you can follow my instagram as well as tiktok account they are on the screen here and as well as in the description i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.